Okay, so I guess we're officially back to this. Um, it is, I'm going to apologize real fast for like if the lighting's weird. It is a little bit earlier than I'm used to doing this. I mean, it's 11 a.m., so it's not really like crazy early, but I more so do videos when there's light on this side of the house because there is a window back here. And today is um, squat PR. It's going to be a lot later in the afternoon. I'm probably going to have to go get something like some sort of upper uh, probably like a monster or something because Matt will be here and that's why I'm not going to do a PR without him here just for safety reasons, uh, not just for me, but for the way. So currently my true PR for squatting is 175. You saw me do it in, I think I'll try here. I'll try to put it right here. Um, in this video, um, I did it twice. So that's also kind of where it's a little, uh, cause I had to make sure that I hit depth and I did not get up to, I believe, 180 because I ended up failing at that and I just couldn't get back up. So I've truly only lifted 175 to depth at once. So my true PR, true PR, I don't know why I'm doing my hands like this, <laughs> for squats is 175 pounds, okay? So according to my program, my perceived PR is 190 pounds. So, <laughs> considering I've never done that, but I've been training like I do, um, my first attempt is going to be starting it at 195. That's gonna be my first um, PR attempt goal. So I have a low goal and then I have a safe goal, which is one that I'm pretty sure I can hit. Um, if I didn't hit it, I wouldn't be like totally upset. And then my reach goal, which is going to be like the last goal I have. Um, so if I get it, I'm just going to continue going up. But my reaching goal is 205. So that is a 15 pound jump. Um, and I haven't done a PR in six months. So that's kind of why I'm okay with, you know, reaching for 15 pounds. It is set as a reach goal. I am fairly confident I can get there. Um, I do think the only part that I might stick on with my squats is um, right like it's not the hole and it's not like coming back up it's like right before you have to um, right before your hips thrust forward that's like the part I'll get stuck on it's the three that I have been working a lot on my squat form if you don't follow me on Instagrams you should to start with um, and if you do awesome tell your friends like my stuff or hard it, I don't know. Um, I've been trying really, really hard the past few months to work on my squat form um, because a lot of the time I was kind of like squatting down but then good morning the weight up instead of like one fluid movement. It was very like, uh, 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 like stop motion. So I worked really hard on those. So this is it. This is six month goal. Hey. So it is 6.16 and I'm going to head in and just kind of start stretching and stuff so that when I actually need Matt's help, he'll be here. Um, Black Cherry Monster is what I'm drinking as a pre-workout and I have my water here all blah blah blah, all ready for it. About to put shoes on. So. I am working out fasted for the most part. The last like actual meal I had was at 2 so it's been about 4 hours to work out fasted because like just everything works better I don't feel sluggish because I have food or anything and mainly it's just like liquids now so it's actually not that hot in here so just me getting ready getting all my gear on before doing a few warm-ups to loosen up the hips quads and hamstrings also just to get the feeling of the bar on my back before adding more weights to it Next, I have about 75 pounds on the bar, um, just to, you know, once again, get used to form, even though it looks good right now, <laughs> and getting just more weight on my back. I end up doing four sets at this weight, even though I meant to do five. Just kind of lost count, because I was really focusing on um, my depth and just form in general. And a few weights later, we are at 145, and I only end up doing it uh, for one rep since I am getting close to my working set. So I guess this is my working set, 
And now we have Matt showing up for the game. And now we're at 175. And the reason I chose to include this is I took way too big of a jump at one point. And as you see, I fail it. I can't get back up, but it's still in control. Uh, Matt does rush over just to make sure I don't fall backward, but it was still pretty controlled. So don't jump too much when you're warming up. Um, this is 155, so we did drop down some. And I end up doing this just for one rep. And Matt is close by just in case I did completely screw up. Um, so let's check it out. And the only issue is I start having the same uh, form breakdown as usual, which is aggravating. We're back up to 165. Once again, for one rep, because I am building up to my PR while still trying to focus on form. <laughs> so let's see what might happen this time. Once again, Matt there to make sure I don't completely bite it. <laughs> And this one is a little bit more controlled. I do brace a little bit better and boop, up we come. No big issue um, hitting that. So I don't really know what happened the first time, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and even after the PR, I decided, well, <laughs> meant to continue on with just my heavy set of my weekly cycle, uh, but instead of doing 10 by threes, I just dropped it down to five by three at 150 pounds, still making sure to really focus on form and explosiveness and just kind of trying to figure out um, sort of what happened through all of it. Even though I did get a five pound PR, it definitely wasn't what I was expecting.